all right how's it going everybody welcome back to the next episode here on the minecraft how to series and today as you can see around me uh i've been a little bit busy um off video just doing a couple of boring mundane things around the place like i got myself some sheep i got the cow crusher running also got some carrots and some potatoes going in the farm but i'm just going to quickly have a nap All right. So what are we going to be doing in this video, guys? Well, if we come over here, I have this chest and this little setup over here because we are going to farm some iron. But to be able to make an iron golem farm, we're missing one vital ingredient. Villagers. And I hate Dealing with villagers, moving villagers is a bit of a nightmare. But I have these two boats. I've got pretty much everything in here I need to make this farm. I think. But we'll find out. And I want to use the new tough blocks too to make the iron farm. So we're going to go and uh, snag ourselves at least two villagers. We need at least two villagers. Um, we're going to breed up to five, but once we have two villagers, we can just breed them inside of the iron farm. That's probably going to be the easiest way of doing it, and that's usually how I would do it, particularly early game. And it's lucky that we have a village over here, so we'll just uh, make our way over here. So yeah, we've got plenty of food at the moment, thanks to the uh, cow crusher. And we have some villagers. I'm going to get a villager in a boat. This is the easiest way to move them in this particular case, because all I have to do is get to this water, and then just boat them on over. Try not to get stuck on any path blocks. There's some water here. All right, cool. We'll just boat this guy on over to a little area where we're going to set up the iron farm. Now, this iron farm's only going to be on where we're kind of near it, so... Yeah, I would recommend setting up, setting up an iron farm in your spawn chunks if possible, if you stayed near where you spawned in. Um, but if you can't do that for whatever reason, just set it up near the area that you're going to be spending a lot of time in, just so it runs passively in the background. I think if I come around here, we should be able to get back over to where I need to go. Maybe, maybe not. Here I was thinking I planned this out pretty well, but uh, such is Minecraft, and there is a solution to this problem. So, oh no, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I see torches. Yeah, we need to go over here, I believe. Oh no, are those torches or are those just flowers? Oh, there's the there's that other village. Have I gone too far? Oh no. I think I've gone the wrong way. Let me just investigate. Maybe this was the village I should have come to instead.
my so far well what i thought was well laid out plans maybe not so well laid out this is why you should always double check everything how far away am i from home and i really messed this up already yeah, that's where I want to be. Alright, well. That was a bit of a fail. But nonetheless, we'll get some villagers from this village instead. That's fine. I will let that villager out of the boat though. Um, he can try and make his way back to his village if he wants. I do feel bad for bringing them all the way out here though. Ah, should have just gone straight to this village. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. Simple mistake. Now where is that villager? Ah, there he is. Could I bring him over that way? Nah, I'm just gonna let him out the boat. Be careful. Maybe he might just move into this village. I have brought you guys a new friend if he wishes to come and live here. But I do require two volunteers. Are there any villages down here? Yep, no one's at home. Alright. Really don't want to be messing around for too long around here. Alright, Mr. Farmer, you're coming with me. No more job for you. You can get in the boat, sir. Would you like to get in the boat, sir? Thank you. I'm just going to have to make this path lock. Alright. I shall just boat this guy all the way over there. And we'll have our first villager. Then I'll come back and get the second one. Take us too long to paddle on over. I'll just basically leave the villagers in their boats um, over by where we're going to set them on up. The area is quite well lit, so it should be safe to do that. Yeah, it is getting a bit late in the day. But basically, I'm, I'm going to have a five villager cell. You can do it with three villagers if you really wanted to, but... I kind of... I found in the past that five is usually better. But that's just from my own experience um yeah i'm pretty sure with this iron farm design you can get away with three villages um it's not going to be as efficient as an iron farm that uses a zombie to scare villagers i could make one of those iron farm you can make one of those iron farms early game but they are a little bit more complicated and it does require you to Prep a zombie. Um, it 
it's not hard to trap the zombie it's just it's a bit risky particularly if you don't have like a decent set of iron armor and you also need to find a zombie that will pick pick an item an item up so it doesn't despawn um that's not usually that hard but sometimes you have to go through like three or four zombies to find one that will do that yeah starting to get late here it's gonna go home yeah no no come outside in the boat In the boat! Oh, I accidentally hit that villager. Sorry, mate. In the boat. Found oh, someone in the boat. I don't really want zombies spawning around here. Someone in the boat. Okay, yeah, I can get them into that waterway. No one wants to get in the boat? Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright. Oh, I'm in the boat. Right. Dang path blocks. Does help if you have a shovel with you. Because the boat won't let you change levels up to that, which is rather annoying. Out the way. Now, I could just easily get five villagers from this village, but I do kind of want to go over the villager breeding mechanics, and I feel like this is a good opportunity to do so. It just means we're going to have to wait a wee while before we get iron golems spawning in the farm. Or I go and get another villager. I think I'll go grab another villager from this village. And then we can start off with three fully grown villagers. I think that might be a little bit better. And then we can just breed the next two villagers in. Alright. Need to make another boat though, which is fine. Still early in the day. Our villager is still nice and safe over here, which is fantastic. And then I'll start building the villager chamber. All right. Yeah, it's still early in the day. Once we get this next villager over here, we can go over... Well, we'll go over how we're going to build the, um, the villager chamber first.
And there's nothing really special to building this iron farm. It's just a couple of things that you really just need to keep in mind when you're building it. Villager. I will take that from you. Thank you. Where are you going? Get in the boat. In the boat. Dang it. Get in the boat. You want to be careful that you don't hit your villagers because particularly if you're going to trade with them, they will give you bad discounts. Well, they just won't give you discounts. They'll just hike the price on you. But this guy is going to be locked in the iron farm, so I'm not concerned about him talking to his friends and, uh, you know, letting them know I'm a bit of a dick because I accidentally hit him with my axe because he wouldn't move out the way. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Right, just in the middle of the day by the looks of it. There are some workstations that I didn't have to craft, so that's always a bonus. Yeah, I'm going to grab some blocks and some temporary blocks. Yeah. Ah, the new tough blocks. I might build the base out of some tough bricks. Why not? All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I want to go out eight blocks, basically, from about this block here. So... I want to kind of be out in this area here. But I need a path for the villagers to get there. Because they're going to need to get in these beds eventually. Well, on the beds that I have for them over there. It's kind of a good idea to build this over water. And like kind of deep water too, because... I don't want any spawnable blocks in an eight by like in an eight by eight radius, uh, because the way that the golems spawn, they spawn on any spawnable blocks in an eight by eight radius of the villages. So I'm gonna have to build a bit of a bridge to pick up the iron, but that's fine. We will get to that when we get to that. I'm also gonna build it a few blocks up. I think in this case, four blocks up is fine. Let's make a staircase so I can get up and down. Cool. And I think I'm going to go three this way. One, two, three. And then five. One, two, three, four, and five. Should make that seven, because I need some walls. So we're going to end up with a seven by four area. I oh, know by five, I think. Three, four, and then five. Because we'll get some walls in here. Awesome. One, two, three blocks. Yeah. 
So. And then we want a platform. So this will be our spawning platform for the golems. I think I need some more tough bricks. Have a little bit of glass here. Grab my beds. Maybe another half stack of bricks. And some polished tuff. So I don't want to be able to see the villagers um, in this pod. I don't need to be able to see them from every single side. Need some blocks to let them in here. And I will probably add a torch there. Just so we've got some light in here. Is that the way? Our beds in. Once it gets dark, we should be able to get these villagers in here. Actually, I think I might hold off on that until I get everything built before I get the villagers in there. Let me just head back up to my bed. Get rid of this dang rain. Goodbye, Ryan. Cool. I'll get you guys in here when it gets dark again. Now I need to decide where I'm going to set up my collection system. I'm only going to need a singular hopper for this, hopefully. Um, I think I'll put it down this side. Just going to have to figure out where I'm going to push the zombie off. Well, the golem's off too. Um, let's get myself another little bit more of a temporary staircase going back on up. Need some walls going all the way around. And then we'll slab the tops of these walls to prevent spawns, prevent the golems from spawning on top. And I think I'm just going to calm another block on out because that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. So water flows eight blocks. So. Maybe you should do another block. Like 
so we can finish this wall off this wall finish off staircase is a bit bold it's okay i'll fix that need to rip this out later anyway i just need to get up and down for now just gonna cut this with some of this polished stuff so i have to put a bit of a wall down this end too that's fine just jump off I'm just trying to build this as simply as possible. Um, yeah, I might as well polish tough slabs for the top. Get some of these blocks because they don't have a lot of tough. It's like all of the tough I have for now. have all of the blocks we need to make this project successful all right i'm gonna need a water bucket And we are going to use lava to kill the iron golems. But if I put this water here, it should run all the way to that last block. Because what I want it to do, and then just grab another water bucket so I can create an infinite water source up here. Yeah, if I place the water here, it creates another water source there, so I can simply do this. And on. Do I want to drop this down a block? Yeah, I should do that actually. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different to what I was going to do. Grab some stairs. Uh, we shouldn't run out of blocks, hopefully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these blocks out. This will cause the water to flow down. But I'm going to put some stairs. No, I need that stair. I'm in here. Eventually it would surface, but I kind of want it now. Actually, what I could do, potentially, is I can use this to my advantage. So I need to place a couple of blocks. Yeah. Oh, do I want to go down three blocks? Let's go down three blocks on each side. Put that down. Yeah, that might be good. I like that. I'm down four blocks. I can remove this block. It's not necessary. And just bring these blocks all the way around. Dang it. 
actually going to have to make this too wide. Because I don't want to have any issues. Come out, two more blocks. Here I am misplacing blocks like mad because leave that other block there for now. That's fine. Let me go get these stairs in. My stairs in like so. It's always that one stair that never wants to be placed correctly. Alright. Now we have these blocks in place. I will fill that in. Oh, actually, I might leave this as it is, actually. Actually, no. I don't want to fill this in. I'm officially out of tough. Oh well, I'll fix that later. It is not super important as of right now. Actually, maybe add some more texture into things. Try and get the villagers in here at the moment. Okay. Getting to night time. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to go pick up my bed. From over here. Because I don't want those villagers thinking that they can claim my bed. glass on me and a couple of empty spaces because I want those guys to pathfind to these beds carefully let this guy out the boat and hopefully he pathfinds to the beds up there and he is There's beards up there, buddy. Let's place the torch on here for now. Come on. I'll grab one of these beards. Okay, yeah, he'll go grab a beard. That might be a problem. Go group. No, nope. stay away from that scenario table. So he's going in there. It's your turn to go up in there. Come on. Come on. Ah. 
And I'll give you a bit, sir. Alright. I've got two of these guys in here for now. That guy's being difficult. Need this guy to take a beard, though. Why aren't you taking a beard? Take my beard. Take a beard. Any beard. Be it there. Come on, dude. Why is this villager wanting to be difficult? Come on. Stop being a... Being a dick, dude. Let's get out the way. Oh, that beard's gone. Thank you for wasting a beard. What's wrong with these beards, dude? Alright, I think I know what's going on here. Just one of those annoying little problems that you get from time to time. He's trying to pathfind to a bed in that other village. Oh, are you finally going to come on? Okay, well, let me, let me let you in. Alright. That guy's still trying to find his bed in his village I think so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick snooze down here and I'm going to go fix that problem man my inventory is a mess right now Break this though, because I don't know why he grabbed this workstation. He shouldn't have been looking for a job at that time. But we do have two villagers in here. Oh, well, we got three, but I'm just gonna head back over to this village. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break every bed in the village, break it and place it back down again. And hopefully that guy will just decide to take one of the beds in the in the golem farm, in the iron farm, basically. I had this issue before. Um, but for an iron farm to work, the villagers must sleep, even if it's just for like a second. But the villagers have to sleep for the iron farm to work correctly. Actually, maybe whilst I'm here, I might just grab a couple more villagers. That way we can just have it, have it filled with grown-up villagers, maybe. No beard in there. I will go do the same thing in that other village that's a little bit closer. I can't quite remember where that villager came from. Let's break the bed and replace it is all you really need to do. That resets the bed. Yeah, no more little houses out that way. There's no beards in the blacksmiths. No beard there. It's because I broke it and it despawned. I will put this beard back in here. 
Actually, you know what? I will just take the beards. Bugger it. Sometimes it's easier to do this. I was busy working. What a ledge. All right. We have a couple of boats. So I will take some more villagers from here, I think. Might just be easier. And we can cover villager breeding later in a future episode. in the boat. Alright, we should have a good path though. But this will make things a little bit easier. And we are going to need those extra beards for the villager breeder, so... Taking them from the village? I'm not overly concerned about that. Just get this guy on a boat. No, don't get in the same dang boat. Now I've got to break the boat and then I get just one of you on a boat. Get out of the boat. What the deuce is going on here? God dang boats. Alright, I'll take both these guys on over then. That means tonight I can actually get all of the villagers in there. Make sure they're all sleeping in beds. Which means we can work on maybe getting some more tough. Might have to go mining for some more tough quickly. That's okay. This is just kind of how it goes in the world of Minecraft. We have another boat to get back over there quickly. But yeah, once we get the iron farm up, we're not going to really have to worry about iron for a reasonable amount of time. Just as long as we're in the area around the iron farm, it will be loaded. So, that's what we want. Back with me. All right, time for you to come back to your new home. Alright, all of our villages are still in there, that's good. Uh, 
See if I can get this other beard place back in here. So I just don't want them getting on out. That guy shouldn't have his job anymore. I'm just going to head over to that other village very quickly. Yeah, I've got a few minutes. A little bit of time. This time I will just break the beds and replace them. I won't take them. Not that that really matters. Just as long as I'm sleeping at night, they should be fairly safe from mobs. Start up here very quickly. house right up at the top of the hill I don't think so but it does pay to double check Still some more hay bales around here I can grab. Breaking the beards. Whilst I'm here, I might actually just trap some villagers. So I know some are protected. That way, mobs can't actually get at them. So I might just quickly sleep in this bed. I can replace that, that's fine. I think that's pretty much all the houses here. Alright, cool. And I have trapped one villager in their house. Another thing you can do also to get villagers to go home is ring the bell. Everybody go home. This guy's going in here means I can do this and that and I have secured two villages in this village so when I need to make a villager breeder I can just grab them so yeah if you want to make sure that they that you save some villages just trap them in their house I know it seems cruel, but 
It's either that or they get eaten by mobs. Potentially. Alright. I need some more tough. Let's go to the mines. Let's just do a little bit of mining. I think if I get another stack of tough, we should be alright. And that cow crush is really good now that I've got that set up and working really well. Food is not an issue. Um, yeah. Been doing a little bit of work off camera down here. Um, it was our bit of a failed strip mine, but if we come down here, got some tough. That's where I'll be getting my tough from. I'm just going to dig out a little bit more. A stack should be good enough. Get those villagers, those other two villagers in the diamonds. Hold on. I was not expecting to find diamonds. What Y level? On Y7? Negative 7? Yeah, Y negative 7. I do have an iron pickaxe for just this occasion. Ah, uh, there's our first diamond. Perfect. Once we get the iron farm up, we can switch over to iron tools permanently, pretty much. The iron farm will provide us with pretty much all the iron we're going to need. But if you build it in the spawn chunks, in your spawn chunks in your world, it just runs all the time. Which means you can get like a really super efficient iron farm, even though because it's because your spawn chunks are loaded all the time, you don't have to be near it. So it just will constantly keep making you keep put uh, keep producing iron. So yeah. That's always kind of a good idea to do is to, you know, mark down your spawn chunks, like the coordinates to them. When you first spawn into the world. And you can do that with the old F3 there. And just find the X, Y and Z part and write that down. But let's finish this, this iron farm off. Got a couple of small things we need to do such as securing this diamond in this chest for now all right it's just oh, that's the wrong thing need my stone cutter Alright. Now, hopefully, we should be able to finish this off. Maybe I should lose this job. don't have silk touch on my pick yet, but that means I could still... Oh, dang it, now I've got to break. Ah, oh, I hate villagers. Break any blocks to be able to place the speed. Ha, 
Because I don't want these idiots getting out. Alright, get this idiot in a boat. No job. In a boat. Get in a boat. In the boat. Hey, right, that's that guy I dealt with. He's in the boat. I hate dealing with villagers so much. They are so annoying. I kind of do like this polished stuff. We use this here. Break that out because we're going to have a hopper there. And I can put the block. Just one bucket of water there. Now I just need to get my chests down here. Alright, let's just place a temporary block there, and then just there. Nice double chest there for now. Once we get some more iron, we can... We can uh, make another hopper, some more hoppers, and add some more chests for extra storage. For now, I'm just going to just flick a hopper, quite reach, right into there. So the golem's going to spawn up there, come down here, and then end up in this corner where he's going to burn in some lava. But I just need to finish off this area first. Gonna place slabs all the way along here to prevent the golems from spawning up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this and that. Carry that all the way around, like so. help keep the golems inside the farm and it's relatively cheap to do I get these other two villagers in this farm now we're not quite done up here yet so I'm going to break this I'm going to have to work into the night a little bit. Why have you guys not gone to bed? I just had beards before. What are you guys doing? Hey, it's just taking a while. Okay, where are these other beards? 
right them make sure villagers can get to them let's get these villagers out of their boats no where are you going why are you going over there okay that villager knows what he's up to he's gonna go claim a bed in here that not quite tall enough claim a bed In that bed. All right, science time. I think I made a mistake here. I actually think I did. I think I might have to raise this up a block. So if I think now if I break these blocks he should take that bed yes all right so i need to raise this a block higher okay that's no big deal should raise it a block higher here too that's no big deal mistakes were made that's a bit of a big deal. Let's make sure that they can't get out. Is my advice to you guys. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, I just need to raise this floor up a block. I was wondering what was going on. Because that just didn't make sense to me what was going on here. I think that's fine. Let's just see if I can get these other two villagers over here. There's no beds for you over there. There's some over there. Go that way, come on. Terribly before morning. Go. Grab my glass. Get in there. Okay. Boom. The villagers are in. Okay. Now that we've got that part dealt with, I think that's fine where we have them there. Um, I just need to move these stairs up a block. It's no big deal. The stairs are here to help push the iron golem off. And into the water down below. Get that out. We'll go 
grab some more water very quickly. It's going to be annoying. Some mistakes were made, but that is fine. I suppose it's better I make these mistakes in this video than you guys make that mistake yourself and then have to spend about 10 minutes trying to figure out what went wrong. Just make sure there's a couple of blocks above the beds. Yeah, and then our golem will fall in there. And that's where we will destroy the golem. And to do that, we need some signs and our lava. And then we're pretty much done with this farm. And we just need to test it on out. Make sure it works properly. Try not to get stuck in here myself. Now, I need to place some signs. Dang it. This is a problem. Let me just get this water out of here for now. So I need a sign there. A sign here. And then a sign here, which will hold a lava right there. So I'm just going to stack out of here. Replace our water there. And I break these blocks. Water will flow all the way into that corner. So a golem will spawn up here, get pushed into the lava, die, and then all of its, all of the iron bits get just dropped off into that hopper. Cool. Yes. Sometimes it's easier to block the water flow off. So you yourself do not get pushed in. Bit of a useful tip there. Place our slabs back down. Just going to place the slab there and a slab there. The golem shouldn't be able to get out of here. Um, but now, what we need to do is remove all these blocks. All these temporary blocks can go. And our villagers should wake up shortly. Unless, of course, they all want to sleep in. Here we go. Use free cam. And there is our first iron golem. That was pretty good. Gotta get rid of all of these blocks because golems can spawn on these blocks at the moment. So I want to make sure these are gone. Of these blocks and then I just need to make a way to get to those chests which is not too hard okay yep all of the dirt blocks are gone that was another golem So if we wait a few more seconds, we should get another golem. It's about every 30 seconds we should get a golem spawn, hopefully. We'll just wait, we'll see. 
But this is one of the reasons I recommend building it above water. That way it's super easy to get that 8 block radius. So it only spawns basically in here. All right, there we go. Another golem. Nice. It looks like it spawned down there. Let's see if we can get a good over the top view. Turn off the HUD for now. Let's see what we get. Come on, Golem. But yeah, this is just a real simple iron farm. That you can build. Well, you could definitely build this in less time it took me to build it. Because I did make some mistakes. But yeah. Yep, there we go. Oh. Uh, yep, that's... That can happen sometimes. The golems can clip through the wall. Um, this is why you want to build it um, over water sometimes. I do have a fix for this. But hopefully we should get another golem soon. Hopefully. Alright. I'll leave free cam alone for now. Um. Oh yeah, we did get another golem. Let's go pick up all this dirt. Oh, there goes another golem dying. Alright, that's good. That means that that golem that spawned and then fell out. Fell all the way down here. So, yeah, there, there's two golems. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. Um, it's really simple to fix, but I am going to need some more blocks. And I have to go get some more tough. Um, but it's a real simple fix. There's nothing too crazy to, well, to it really. Um, but we are going to need some more tough. So we'll quickly pop back down to the mines. We'll get the tough that we need to fix that small issue. Basically what that issue is, is that the golem gets pushed a little bit into the wall and then the, then the water pushes it through the block. It basically glitches through the block. So what you need to do is you need to extend that area out buy another block to prevent that um so that area where we've got the kill chamber instead of being two blocks wide it needs to be three blocks wide so quickly come in here grab some more tough we'll fix that i kind of forgot that was a problem and as soon as i saw it i was like yep uh this iron farm design is like my go-to iron farm design for early game. Because it's just so easy to build. And you technically don't need to get the five villagers. All you need to do is get two villagers in there and then breed the rest. But that takes two to three Minecraft days for those villagers to breed and grow up. So, ooh, more diamonds. 
Oh, I can make a diamond pickaxe. That's good. But yeah. Should be enough blocks. Honestly, didn't think it was going to take this much block. Well, this many blocks to um actually get get this built. I'm actually kind of a bit surprised at how many blocks it takes to build this farm. I've never really actually, you know, counted out how many blocks goes into one of these farms, but it's probably about. Three or four stacks. Okay, and then I'll just go. Uh... Yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm going to need more of. Just some more slabs. Because we're going to need another, run another little ring. So we need one more, two more. We should have enough slabs. Now I just have to get up there again. We're going to have to move a few things around too, um, which is fine. farm won't work as well whilst I'm doing this but we know the farm works this is just me fixing a problem I knew was already there but the easiest way of doing this for now is to just we'll move that hopper out move the chest too but that's fine and then Dang, that is loud. Come on. Hey, might just Something I've done a little bit silly here is I've placed this chest incorrectly. I really should have put that chest on this side. But that's fine. We need to take it out anyway, along with that hopper. And we got ourselves some iron and some poppies. So we take this out now. that and move that over there get these temporary blocks out we don't need them all right and during the night is the best time to work on this farm if you do need to change something because no golems will spawn whilst the villagers are sleeping That's the only downside to this farm, because we're not hearing them with zombies. Um, the villagers don't produce any golems at night. Because they're sleeping, but... It's not that bad. Like, I only had 12 iron on me before. Now we have 40 iron. That's pretty good. It's some good rights, you know. They're not 
fantastic rates but it's a really good small efficient little farm now we just need to fix this i'm gonna put a block there just to make this look a little bit better but now i have to go inside because i need to move the lava and break the inside wall And as I said, doing this at night time is probably the best time to do it. Right, we need to break these blocks out anyway. I need to remove this lava. The buckets. Place this with some stone bricks, maybe. Because we got to break this wall out. Uh, in that case, I'll probably just replace it. should be good now just take all of this out shut in very quickly okay cool grab this water because i'm about to place this lava so let's get the signs back in here. I have to put that sign there. Another sign here and another sign here. That will hold our lava perfectly right there. I'm going to get out of here for now. Put our water back in this corner and it will still flow all the way over there. Is where we need it to be. And now I can just pull it all the way back up. And then fix our slabs. And that will stop the golems for, from phasing through this wall over here. So when you do build this, just make sure that this part is three wide this way. Um, and you shouldn't have any problems. Alright, cool. Now I'm just going to tidy on up once again. Then I'm going to make a way to get to that chest. And that way is going to be pretty simple. Nothing too fancy, just something golems can't spawn on. Should be able to open this. Yep. Throw some poppies in there. I don't really care about the poppies too much. Okay, so. I'm going to use bottom half slab. So this is a bottom half slab. That's a bottom of a block. And nothing can spawn on this bottom half slab. Including iron, iron golems and mobs. So I'm going to use that to make a real simple little bridge out to here. Obviously, you could build something better than this. Um, I probably will later on, but for now, that's kind of all you need.
And you just let the farm run in the background. Whilst you're doing your farming and things, it will just chug along quite nicely. And you can just come out here when you need iron, grab it, and away you go. Speaking of sleeping, I should probably do that myself. There we go. Let's put stuff in here for now. But yeah, that's our nice little simple iron farm. I use free cam over here. I should tidy this up a little bit. I might do that later. But yeah, those guys talk to each other. They're like, oh, bro, I haven't seen an iron golem in a while. And then they spawn one. This one here spawned a little bit in the wall, but he will eventually come free and be pushed by the water. Yep. Sometimes that happens. I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. They eventually end up being pushed into the lava and then boom they die but yeah this is pretty much what we've got what is that that's like three six eleven by Three, seven, eight, eleven by seven and eight, eleven by eight blocks, something like that. Eleven by seven. Yeah, eleven by seven by how many down here? Eight. Eight blocks tall. And just five villages in there. Get another golem shortly. Oh, hopefully. Come on. You can actually build smaller iron farms than this, but this is the one I usually build. Um, there's nothing, like, overly complex about it. Come on, Golem. Now that I'm watching it, it's not going to spawn now, is it? Come on, man. Yeah, see, if I had a zombie scaring them, we would have had another golem spawn by now, but... That's fine. I'll probably do a fair bit of AFKing around here anyway. Grab my beard. Grab all the stuff out of here. The stuff. Should be a bit of iron in here now. Awesome. Five more iron to add to the growing collection. Yeah, that iron farm should... Oh yeah, there's another golem. Yeah, he'll eventually get unstuck and he'll just drift on down. As I said earlier, it's not the most efficient iron farm around. But it is easy to build.
I really need to sort out my storage at some point soon, but that can wait until we start building a starter base. All right, let me just feed the cows very quickly. Every once in a while I have to remember to come feed the cows. Alright. Look at all that meat just roll on in. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.